So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it inside of my bowl. Real nice. Nothing complicated. Look how pretty it is. Hey family, it's your girl Q from Cooking with Q. Welcome, I totally missed you and I'm super excited and hungry at the same time. Today, we are making an Irish potato, which it's called Cow Cannon. It is fire, it is amazing, it tastes like Jesus cooked in a food spoon veggie, it's so good. So all we need is basic ingredients. This is not complicated, okay? But this is about to blow your mind. So let's talk about our ingredients. This recipe is made with white potatoes. So we've got some nice white rusted potatoes here. Um, of course, when you get yours, you're just gonna wash them off. You can use any type of leafy green. You know me, the darker the green, the better it is for me. So I use kale, people use cabbage, they use any type of greenage. Um, we got fresh parsley and basil sliced up, well sliced up, diced up, mixed up here. And then I have some vegan Parmesan, plant-based sour cream, and cream cheese. And then you can't have mashed potatoes without butter. Butter, okay? And we use earth balance for our butter. Why? Because it, I use the soy free one. It's soft, it goes perfect. Um, I never let you guys use salt, but today, saints, we got a little tiny bit of Himalaya. It's so little, look how little it is. We got a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt, um, and of course, a pepper blend, which is excitement. So, the first thing we are going to do is we're going to take these potatoes, we are going to rinse them, but we're going to boil them, okay? So I am going to get these in hot water so you guys can see it. Boil me up! You wanna let these potatoes boil until the wheels fall off, okay? You're gonna boil them until they start just falling apart. It doesn't matter if you wanna dice them, do you, boo-boo. Honestly, I just set the, I just set it and forget it. Set it and forget it. Forget about it, okay? I let those boys cook until they're super squishy and mushy, and once they're ready, we can strain off most of the water and put them in a separate bowl, and then we're going to start mashing them. You can use a masher, or if you're me, you can use a whisk, because that's what I have over meat right now, and that's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to grab our potatoes after two million hours later. Ooh, they hot, okay. So these are squishy, we're gonna put them inside the bowl. Y'all, these are hot. Let's see how squishy they are. You see how squishy they are? Like they're literally soft. You can do anything you want with these potatoes right now. So I'm gonna put about five in here for us right now. And we are going to get to mashing these babies up. Check it out. So you wanna mash them while they're hot, first off, um, because when you put the ingredients in there, it'll just make everything go together better. Boom, boom, boom. I like them mine a little bit chunky, so don't um, freak out. I don't mind if some of my pieces are chunky. That's why I kind of knife through them a little bit. But look how hot they are. So now while this is still hot, we're gonna add a couple things. The things that we're gonna add first is butter, cause who mad at butter? So this is our earth balance and I'm going to use, for those five, we'll give ourselves like two scoops of butter. They start getting creamy which is good. We're gonna add probably a tablespoon of sour cream. And that's vegan sour cream. Let's just say two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of vegan sour cream and then we're gonna add two tablespoons of vegan cream cheese, okay? Now these are, um, I call, well these ones are plant-based cream cheese from Kroger. You gotta add an S, you gotta say Kroger's if you're my daddy. <laughs> he put an S on everything. Kroger's, Myers. it's no S on either one of those. Welcome to Detroit. So this is going to make our potatoes become very, very, look at that, already getting a look. People think you cannot make mashed potatoes right in front of you, and I do it all the time for my classes, but they think it's like such a big deal. I'm like, why? You can totally do this at the, at the crib. This is not anything. You see why I like the um, whisk? I can take my knife right through there and chop it. You see it? <laughs> Y'all can judge me if you want, that's a Q-tip. Our parsley and basil mixture, we're gonna dump that in. We've got fresh vegan Parmesan, right? So it's crumbly. Got that in there. Get that out of our way to the side. Himalayan sea salt. This is probably like a half a teaspoon. Cause I don't want it to be salty. I just want it to have a little bit of the flavor. And then of course, pepper blend. That's not gonna hurt anybody, right? So now I'm going to stir this up. And the last thing I'm going to add while these are super hot, but look how nice they look already. 
I am going to chop up a little bit of kale. I'm taking this kale off the stalk. How the rabbits do in my garden, they don't leave me nothing. They be like this. We left you a piece. And you can't get mad at them because it's their job, that's what they do. But I be wanting to be mad. But I love the little bunnies, they're so cute. The deer do it too. The deer in Michigan be like, you and my wife, <laughs> move your car on my driveway. <laughs> I can't get to your garden. <laughs> oh, hostas, we like those too. We eating all your hostas. We don't care if you just spent $400 on hostas, we eating all of them. So for this kale, we're just gonna chop it up real finely. You're not gonna saute it first, you're not gonna cook it first. You're putting it in here just like this, which is why I told you to do everything while it's hot. You can use cabbage if you want, any type of greenage. I, you know, my favorite thing is kale, y'all, so. I'm kaled out. I'm kaling everything in the name of Jesus, okay? Oh, I kale everything. Jesus made kale, he made it for me, he knew. So now I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna take this, and I am going to put it inside of my bowl. Real nice, nothing complicated. Look how pretty it is. So the reason I don't cook the kale, because I don't want it to overcook and you don't want it to be mushy. I just want it to be a part of it. Now, if you did this while you were actually in the pot, you can leave the pot warm, like super light, warm. Keep it popping. I'm gonna leave this like this. You can see our kale just getting brighter. Not overcooked, but just happy, so happy. Honey chow. I hope you guys try this recipe because you already know it's straight fire, okay? If you try it, do what you're supposed to. Tag me in the comments. Tag me everywhere. Hashtag cooking with you on all things social. Y'all already know we gotta try this just to make sure it's right. Make sure ain't nothing wrong with it. Let me see. First off, this is so good. I'm gonna need to go ahead and finish this. So until next time, may your taste buds be forever satisfied because mine are <laughs> okay be blessed y'all have a good day I made sure. I did. I gave you. I set you up for greatness. I had a Google of Calcuta. <laughs> Where'd I stop? Kale. Oh, wait. I forgot I put raisins in my mouth. Hey, you. Out there in vegetable land. I want you to do me a solid. Just click here if you want to watch the next video. Click here if you want to subscribe. You should do both. Love you. Mean it. Bye.